we'll land in front of the palace pretty much and somehow the photographic genius finds us even here but that's okay instant memory fuzzy pickles yada yada let's go because uh we did take some damage back in back in that your sanctuary location so i think are you serious how many photos do you want to take this is like the third in a row fine fuzzy pickles Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Anyway, like I said. Let's get a free heal here. And since we did beat your sanctuary location, we probably should save here. It's probably good. We have a lot of cash in our bank, by the way. Which is quite nice. Boo is almost to another level up too. Uh, no, we are going to keep playing. Um, One more thing thing that I want to do is call us cargo express uh, let's do a pickup yeah I wonder if they can get to the lam. they shouldn't be able to but then again the photographic genius shouldn't be able to I think they will they are able to though but yeah, it's a bit weird that they can go all the way here. Uh, we can cover the bill, yeah. So up to three things can be taken. Uh, to start off with, pencil eraser. We don't need that anymore. Uh, I'm gonna drop the for sale sign. I haven't really been using it realistically. I'm not going to use it. I should just get rid of it in that case. And I'll drop uh, the laser gun. So yeah, take the pencil eraser for sale sign and laser gun. That's fine. There you go. That clears up some inventory space. Also, I did want to rearrange things so that Jeff has all of the broken items. Because I'm pretty sure some people have some broken items. So this, let's give this to Jeff. And you don't have anything broken anymore. You don't have anything broken anymore. You have two broken things, so let's get to... Let's give this to Poo. And let's go ahead and give... A um, cup of live noodles. Poo has one. I should spread those out. That That's what I recommend anyway. Uh, that way, like, no matter who dies, you can revive him if you have, if you have it spread out a bit more. Anyway, we're gonna come over here to these rabbit statues, and now we're gonna go ahead and use the carrot key. Rabbits and carrots disappeared all at once, and they're gone. Do we ha still have the carrot key? No. No, it's gone now. Okay, good. I was gonna say, else we probably should have dropped that. But oh well. Immediately we get attacked. By the Tengu. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and attack you quite hard. We'll shoot and we'll do freeze alpha. I'm not sure how strong the enemies in this place are actually. Ah, not too tough. We got through that relatively quickly. Ness is level 45. Pooh is level 31. Awesome. So what I'm going to do is actually climb up this rope here. There's going to be some more enemies. Can we scroll you off screen? We can. There's one of you. There's two of you. Fine, we'll fight two of them. Oh, Tengu and its cohort. So there is a cohort now. 
Um, that's fine. Uh, we can always train on these enemies a bit too, since you can just heal for free at um, at Pooh's master. So if you want at the S entrance, you could just grind on the enemies here for a little while. Oh, that's a lot of damage to Paula, uh, and that's a lot of damage to Pooh. I might have to take up my own advice and actually run back and heal. Because dang, that did a lot of damage. Uh, let's heal Paula. And let's heal who? There we go. We're actually good now. I guess I'll keep going a bit more. As long as we only fight one at a time, I think we should be fine. Uh, let's do a freeze on you, and then we're gonna attack otherwise. Hopefully we solidify? Yes, nice. I love solidifying them. It's so good. Oh, and he leaves a snake. I don't remember what a snake does at all. It bites the enemies and disappear, mainly poison the enemy. I guess I might use like a random battle item. Oh nice, we get... We get priority attack and that will auto kill. Poon is also level 32. Good stuff. And there's a hole here, we'll drop down the hole. And we get a sudden gut spill. Uh, now in this room there is a hole right away. But you want to drop in the very far hole. We'll get another box. This is a rock candy. This rock candy. When you eat this it will increase either speed, guts, vitality, IQ or luck. As, as I said it will increase one of those random ones. Hold on to this. There's a cute, cool little trick. Cool, cool, cool. I, I can talk normally. There's a cool trick with it that I want to show off. That I'm planning to show off. Um, so, yeah. We have, we have not really used it. I'm going to use Snake. We'll, we'll see what happens. Um, let's freeze the Tangu. Shoot the Conducting Menace. And you... Freeze the Conducting Menace. We'll see how this battle goes. 204 damage. Jeff attacks. 87. 217. Thunder Alpha. 94 damage to Paula. That's not good. Snake is biting. 3 HP of damage. And it got poisoned. 147 damage to... Poo. Oh, this is not great. Um, Paula, you... Do another freeze to the Tengu. You can attack the Conducting Manus. And you... How about you do life up on yourself? Okay, the Tengu is dead. Paula's HP will be maxed out. Felt pain from the poison. Took 18 HP of damage. Tries Thunder Alpha. A lot of damage to Paula now. Okay, let's see if we can take you out quickly. There we go. <sighs> you guys are strong. Paul is level 40 though. I'm happy with that. And another offense up. And Jeff is level 40 too. Sweet. We could drop down that hole. But here is our next year sanctuary location. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm not in great status for that. Ness has full HP but misses a lot of his PP. And all the others have full HP but miss some of their PP. Um, I mean... This might just be a bit of a tougher fight, but uh... You know what? Screw it, let's do it. You finally got here, this is the 6th year sanctuary location. But it's mine now. Take it from me if you dare. Thunder and Storm. That's right. Okay. What do we want to do with Ness? Um, I'm actually... I, I, I kind of wonder if I should have kept the thing. 
Uh, let, let, let's not mess about. Let's go ahead and just start with a bash. Paula, we're gonna do our strongest freeze. Jeff, we don't actually have bombs, which is really kind of bad. Um, I'll shoot, and Pooh will do our strongest freeze. 311 damage, 86, that's not great. 250 damage, 20. Crashing boom bang attack, 128 damage, 128 mortal damage. Okay, um, bash, PSI, no, offense, freeze, uh, shoot, and you recover life of beta on yourself. Boo, heal yourself in time, please, please, heal yourself in time. Oh, he was so close to death. His health was in the single digits there. Pooh, that was way too close of a close call for my health. Ah, that was scary. I'm gonna let his HP just roll up for a little while. Okay. Whew, that was scary. That, that was scary. Is there anything that you can really do? Not really, huh? Um... I'm gonna give Pooh some defense spray, I guess. And... We'll do another PSI freeze. 318 damage. He rushed in and intertwined. He did mortal damage to Jeff. Or to Ness, I mean. That's not good. His body solidified. PSI gaming. 217 damage. Uh, recover. Life up to yourself. You. Offense. Freeze. Shoot. Offense. Freeze. Are we gonna be in time? Come on, we gotta mash through things. Oh, they became tame. And Ness lives with 38 health. Okay, that, that battle had a few close calls. Some excitement, but we got a lot of experience. Ness is now 46. Paula is 41. Pooh is 33. Jeff, the only one left out on the level ups. But to make up for that, Pooh levels up twice. What a swell guy. So, or next to your sanctuary location. Ness had a short vision of seeing his mother when she was young. Ness's soundstone recorded the melody of the pink cloud. So there we go. You got the pink cloud melody now. Um, oh yeah, and you of course get restored fully for doing that, which is always nice. So we don't have to worry about that. Uh, healing ourselves manually. These guys are gonna run away from us, which is good, because I think we can get the auto kill. Not if they're a group. That's not great. Uh, there is a new one, the Kiss of Death. We didn't see that one yet. Uh, let's do gaming. Let's do fire to the front row. Jeff, you shoot the kiss, and you... Let's do the strongest freeze to the death row. Or the back row. Hopefully it'll be a death row, because you'll be dead. Yep, Kiss of Death gets defeated, so that's good. Will this finish these guys off? It did not work on the Tengu. Well, that's just the Tengu now. Shouldn't be much of an issue anymore. Yeah, there we go. Good stuff all around. And Jeff now gets his level up to 41, and Pooh is also up to 35. Sweet. Now we are gonna drop down this hole. We don't have a choice. Um, and we definitely want to open this box. This has the Bracer of Kings. Now Ness takes it, but Ness... Give that to Pooh, please. Because we have our very first thing for Pooh. And that's the Bracer of Kings. It's the first item. It's his only arms item. And it will give him 
a 30 extra defense, which is quite nice. Oh, you want to come? Can I kill you? I can't auto-kill because someone else always jumps in. Oh, how annoying. That's okay, though. We can just... Take them out with fire plus some bashes. If people would hit, at least, you know, that, that would definitely help. Because I flash, that's not nice. That's not good. A lot of crying going on. Because I thunder. Franklin Bash reflects it. Nice. Thunder and Storm can also do lightning attacks, and some of the enemies inside here can do it. So having the Franklin badge on you is always good. And uh, I I'm happy that it worked quite well. I think we got pretty much everything in this uh, dungeon though. And you can get this Bracer of Kings before the boss fight as well if you want to. There we go. Uh, because if you just from the start head to the left... Uh, yeah, because this is the start of the dungeon. So if you had left and just climbed down the rope, you can just pick it up before going to the boss. But honestly, you're not really going to need that extra defense that badly with Poo, I don't think. So I, I like to just uh, get it afterwards. It makes for a bit of a quicker run through the dungeon as well. Um, but yeah, now that we're done with all of that, I am going to go ahead and go get my free heal and uh, once once I've gotten that we're actually gonna go ahead and teleport over to Tucson free heal please thank you um we probably don't have the room to teleport inside here. So we'll have to exit out. I think this stroke of land is probably big enough. So let's teleport to Tucson. That was not long enough. Let's try it again. There we go. Now why do we want to go to Tucson? Well, that rock candy we picked up. There is a trick with it. I am going to try it. I know my trick with the mushroom didn't work. Or with the truffle or whatever that I wanted to show off in the gold mines. And this is the same, the same trick essentially. Where you fill up your stuff with ketchup packets or something and then yeah but i want to try it damn it I, I i have faith that i can pull this off all right setup is done let's see if this works rock candy is in the very last spot so let's try it out i'm gonna go ahead and use it on ness Took a sugar packet and used it on the rock candy. It was pretty good. Ness IQ went up by two. Nope. I don't know how that trick works. Maybe it's literally the fact that we truly, truly, truly can't even have equipment or anything in our inventory. But whatever. I I I don't really care. It, it it's kind of like a glitch and abusing things anyway. So I don't really mind that we couldn't pull it off but it is a trick that I read so I kind of wanted to you know do it just for that fact that that it, it's supposed to work and I wanted to try it out and see if it did but I can't get it to work oh you were in the way and then I just wasted my PP Let's teleport again. We're gonna go ahead and teleport all the way over to Summers. Wow, why is everything in my way?
Please. What? I... An enemy spawned in. An enemy that only gives me 50 experience. That's kind of frustrating. Now could I please go to Summers? Thank you. Huh, <sighs> okay. Now... In Summers, one more thing that I haven't really... Talked about yet, that I... Kind of want to talk about. Once that my taxi is out of the way, that is. Um, is that we can now talk with her. I can no longer make magic cakes, but it doesn't matter, because now I'm selling magic tarts. Which tastes best, even better than magic cakes. I only have this. So yeah, that's the only item she sells. Uh, it will, uh, restore a bunch of PP. You can buy them here. 20 PP, I think they sell. Uh, alternatively, and in my opinion, the better choice to make is to get the brain food lunches over in uh, Dalam because they restore more PP and also restore some HP. Uh, they are a bit more pricey than just uh, things are. Other things than, than the magic tarts, but I think they are worth the price difference, honestly. Um, oh, hey, another photo op. Picture taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say fuzzy pickles. What a great photograph. We'll always bring back the funnest memories. And there we go. But, uh, yeah, we're pretty much done and ready to set sail. Thank you. You made my wife wake up. She quit talking about all that serious crap. Yeah, let's work hard. If you're courageous, get on this boat. Why you see the Kraken and experience getting seasick? After all, it's gonna only cost you your life. And you got that for free. Like we'll determine the outcome of this voyage. So, do you still want to set sail to the seas of Scarba? 20 bucks per person is fine with me. Sure, we'll pay 80 bucks to give up our life that we got for free. That sounds like a good deal. I've probably had worse deals in my life. Anyway, yeah, the boat is gonna leave. It's... A little bit of a slow start. Could definitely do with moving a bit faster, but that's her down for you. It's a slow moving game. I also like how the water is just pretty much completely single colored until we get here. Now we get a bit more of like an overworld map idea. Which is interesting, but not really utilized in Earthbound at all, since all of the locations connect. I never really know how to feel about overworlds. Uh, I think they can definitely help make a world feel bigger, but then like how connected the world feels also is really interesting. Wait, 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 I need to stop the boat. It's been a long time since I went out on the open sea, so I feel seal seasick. What am I gonna do, a sailor who gets seasick? How come you guys are all right? The bald guy over there, your buddy, right? He came from the lab? You guys must be quite the adventurers. Ha <laughs> I'm feeling much better now. Anchors away. But yeah, like something where everything is connected also definitely has its charms. And especially if a world is big, then it can absolutely feel huge. Like Cinematic Chronicles, where pretty much everything you see you can go to, but there's no like overworld map. It just really feels huge. I guess mostly overworld maps were needed back in the past when to create a really big world with different continents, it was the best way to go about it. <laughs> Here it comes! But there we go. We are getting attacked by the Kraken. I'm gonna go ahead and try paralysis. I don't think this version works any better. It's just that it works on all enemies. So I'm gonna just target you. Paula, I think freeze is what we want to go with. Pretty much always freeze. Uh, do we have any bombs? We really don't. I really need to get some more bombs with uh, 
with Jeff. You know what? Let's try the handbag strap. I don't know if it will do anything, but we might as well. And good PSI freeze here as well. 232. It's solidified. That's good. Handbag strap did nothing. So that's probably got used up and doesn't really help us. Paralysis did not work. Okay, well, things tend to have like, you know, not a 100% hit chance. So I'm going to try that again. We'll keep freezing. Yeah, we lost the handbag strap. That's okay. You just shoot, Jeff. You're not really going to be much of much help this fight. I feel like that's kind of an issue with Jeff. Like, for example, Duster, who fills a similar role in Mother 3. I feel he had a lot more use than, uh, than Jeff does. Pretty much if you don't have bombs, it almost feels like it's not worth using Jeff. But, of course, you can't, like, take him out of the party or anything. But, yeah. Feels like without bombs, he's just really kind of a death weight to the group. But we're gonna go ahead and keep using our freezes and the Kraken will get defeated. There we go. Not too tricky of a fight. And Pooh's level 36 now. He definitely, definitely got way up there. Oh man, I thought you guys were just everyday little kids. You defeated the Kraken. I also helped in the battle. I threw my slippers at the beast. Maybe you didn't notice. I think it would have been great if there was like a single line in the battle somewhere about, you know, like the captain took off his slippers or something. 